people travel to New York City to participate and represent their Caribbean pride. Caribbean Queens is a show that follows six friends, women of Caribbean descent, living in America. Caribbean people represent a rainbow of blacks, tans, and browns. And even though some of us were born in America, we have great pride in our countries, our history, and our people. There are still many deep-rooted issues that divide the Caribbean countries. For example, According to Pascal, the rivalry between Dominicans and Haitians, I have never been exposed to it. They're still treating the Haitians that we have working there as slaves. Some what? of them. I have seen that. Oh, yeah. She seems to take it very personal. There are still many misconceptions about some Haitian practices. It's this photo spirit nation that was unified in Haiti by the differing African tribes. It's Something happened a long time ago in Haiti. They got together and swore a pact to the devil. No! What makes this group unique? Our differences make us unique. Caribbean Queens wants to share a piece of our lives and culture with the world. We will give you a taste of the Caribbean. Let's meet the Queens. What is up, America? Are you ready to be a part of history? My name is Fabiola Ferrer, and I represent the beautiful island of Haiti. You probably know me as an entertainment reporter. Three words to describe me would be ambitious, committed, and focused. But to those who really know me, know that I'm more than that. I'm a straight shooter with a feisty attitude. Fabiola, she don't really believe in marriage. It's just mine. Bodily. I'm not into the illusion of life, and I feel like a man is just an opportunity away from cheating. No married woman wants to hear that there could be a possibility that her husband may cheat. I feel like she has been like damaged and she needs therapy immediately. Next, there's Gloria. She's a Puerto Rican and an icon in the video vixen world. It's big pimping, baby. Wow, holly brown at the mouth. I was not comfortable with Gloria coming into the circle. I am a married woman. I have children. You're vixen, half naked all over the internet. I didn't like it. That's another misconception of me. That what I did at 19, what I do now at 34 is night and day. You've grown. I'm not in that box they try to put me in. All the negative stuff that Pascal is trying to put on Gloria, Pascal is like judging. She's so judgmental. I'm like, you know what, girl? Just leave Gloria alone. Let her come into the circle and let her prove herself. I took a break for three years. Now just reinventing myself, getting back out there, doing what I love. Welcome to Zone 2. I know, I know, I'm the shit. Free calls, free drinks, I know what this. Yes, I heard her name before, but she's not like this big time celebrity that everybody makes her out to be. What I know about her, mm, this much. I have two baby daddies. My first one is by Aaron Hall. He's an R&B singer from Guy. And my second baby daddy is an NFL player. His name is David Bowens. He played for the New York Jets. But she's still the firecracker of this crew, honey. I hear my name before we even knocked on the door, you know, claiming I'm old school. You know, what is old school? You want to do what I do, or what I've been done at 19 and you're 20 something years old. Like, catch up, bitch. But now as a mother, she's looking to clean up her act. My children always come first, no matter what, any man. Then we have Trisha. Trisha is from Jamaica. She is a very successful plus size model and extremely comfortable in her own skin. Men are in love with me, honey. You see, you see these ladies right here? I really like Trisha. She's very genuine and sincere. I admire her and I respect her. Trisha is fun to be around and she keeps it real. As you can see, I'm a fabulous, curvy, plus size model. You may have seen me on BT Rip the Runway. You could probably catch me on the Genie Bra commercial. Sometimes when a man cheat on you, you do need to know that, look here, I need to draw out my strengths and do what I need to do. Wow. He cheated once, he will do it again. I know Pascal cares about me, but I don't need another mother telling me how to run my life. You see, when I get mad, my accent come out like crazy, so I don't know if y'all have to use subtitles, but yeah, I'm speaking in power right now because I'm mad. 
this man cheated on her and there's a baby that she has to deal with. Pascal can say whatever she wanna say. Does she know what her husband is doing? I don't need her to be telling me, leave your fiance or whatever. That's up to me, it's my life. I don't need you telling me a thing. Then there's Pascal, who is also from Haiti. So you know I love her. My people spend days on the rubble and they come out singing. That's who we are. That's who I represent. She's the catalyst behind the queens. Pascal does it all. She's a wife, a mom, and a businesswoman. But sometimes she doesn't know how to keep her mouth shut. When we work together, we sometimes clash. Do you want to produce the song or what? But you're not a producer. Excuse you? I love her, but she's crazy. I heard her said, I want you to carry my husband's baby. Let me tell you something. Pascal is a walking time boom. Then we have Envy. Envy is an R&B pop singer from Trinidad who is the baby sister of the crew and works with Pascal. I'm single, separated, ready to mingle. She's extremely demanding and very emotional. Every man likes a sexy woman. It's sell-off. In Jamaica, that's why I would have said sell-off. I'm conceited. I love myself. You mess with me, I come back at you. My music is my love, my first passion. And when I get on stage, I just become an explosion. And she's Trini. So I would think she would want to do more Calypso music. I mean, people are going to love me, my music and they're going to hate my music. But guess what? At the end of the day, I bring it. It's Envy, bitch. Let's go. That girl, she started rattling off about how she thinks the song is good for Rihanna. Well, that's not Rihanna, it's Envy. I don't think she intentionally came in here wanting to fight, but she told me that anybody who put their hands in her face, they're gonna freaking get it. Oh, hey, oh bitch, don't get I did not know she had that in her. I'm gonna tell you, next time it happens, you're gonna have to bail me out of jail. Got me? But I'm just sad to see, you know, us as Caribbean women going there and fighting. It's just not needed. We could talk about it. We're grown people. Stop, stop it! Moving on to Angie. Angie is from the Dominican Republic and she is hot, hot, hot. Angie is one hot older person. <laughs> She's married, but everything is not what it seems. She's definitely full of surprises. It's all about sex, the sex, sex, you know. I haven't had a threesome in my relationship yet, but I'm trying to convince him. I'm working at it. I love Angie. If I'm gonna do a threesome, I'm bringing her because she knows how to get it done. I am so disgusted. Threesome? Hey, Angie. Angie is, of course, a freak of the week. I told them once, though, in my house, we have sex every day with or without you. Who have sex every day with their husband? I got to get some advice from her to see how I can start to having sex every day because it's keeping her young and fabulous, honey. I bring them one on one, let them watch, because I love that. Next, we have Lisa. Lisa represents Puerto Rico and Panama. She's a young urban model and a video girl. You can catch me in Smooth Magazine. I've been on the cover with 50 Cent. I've been in Smooth Girl. I've been in Black Men Magazine, Show Magazine, King Magazine. Yes, baby, that's all me. Thank you. Some think she wants to be the new Gloria. She definitely brings that Caribbean fire to the crew. She's trying to be in a position I was when I was young. She should take notes or ask me, you know what I'm saying? She wants to do what I do, and, and all she wants to do is model. My dad is a conservative Puerto Rican. He won't even talk to me, and he just shuts me out. I've been called a hoe. I've been called a slut. It just hurts my heart. <laughs> No father's gonna be proud with you showing all your tits, no! I can make a lot of money. It's a great side hustle and it's fun. I don't see the harm in it. Who wouldn't want to get paid to party? 
At the end of the day, we share a common thread of the clear blue sea and Caribbean origin. We are Caribbean queens.